this video, I will show you how to format the layout of your thesis or dissertation into numbered academic heading styles, which are essential for table of contents. The first thing that we have to do is to check which heading styles are accessible to us. You click on the more drop down button. Then we see that in our current ribbon, we only have up to heading style for that appears in our ribbon. The next step is to add the other heading styles which might be useful to us. You click on the drop down button, go to manage styles. Under the recommended tab, if you scroll down, you can see that you can have up to heading style number nine in your ribbon. The next step is to highlight all the heading styles that you want in your ribbon. You just click, scroll down, then select show, then OK. Then if you check your ribbon now, you'll see that now we have up to heading 9 appearing in our styles group. The next step is to link the different heading styles to different levels of numbering. So you go to multi-level list, define new multi-level list. Then here you will link each heading style to a different numbering level. Here for the first numbering level, we want to link it to heading style one. Then we can also format this as much as we want. So we want the first heading styles to be the chapters. And to them to be numbered numerically. And we can already set the positioning and all the set uh, and the text indent already. But here I would just like to keep everything at zero and even you can set this for all the other levels then we go to head to level two and link it to heading style two then the numbering is correct then level three link it to heading style three level four we link it to heading style and so on. You can do this until level 9. Click OK. Then now uh, you can start by formatting your document. You can start by formatting your document. You put your cursor where you want to change the heading style. So here the introduction, we want it to be chapter one. So you just click chapter one, then you can see that chapter one is your introduction. So the next thing is also to format these styles here. You can just right click, modify. Then now here we can change um, the font styles and the font size. Here, for example, if we want all our document to be in Times New Roman, can just click that and we want the chapter to be bold, click that and we select OK. So then this will now be automatically updated for all the other chapters. So we can easily now um, copy the formatting to the other chapters. For example, if we want um, literature review to be our chapter two, then you see it automatically numbers it. Then we can copy that to all the other chapters. Uh, methodology chapter three, then results chapter four, then discussion and conclusions, Will be the remaining chapters. So now we managed to get the first heading styles and first levels of numbering correct. So now you can continue with
with your subsections. So for example here, with background, we want to link it to heading style 2. Just click on heading style 2. Then also, if this you want to format it, you can just click on modify style and choose the correct uh, font style and font size. Then we keep everything as times new Roman. Then click OK. Then copy the style format to the other subsections. Then the subsections for the chapter three methodology can easily be numbered by just highlighting all the subsections and cl clicking on heading two. Then you see the subsections correspond to the chapter numbers. So this is how you can easily format your thesis or dissertation layout by using the correct heading styles and automatic numbering.